in my dressing room. There's no point coming in here. You've got no hair to do. Got my manicure, pedicure. So I've asked Adrian to remove some of the window furniture so that I can try putting it in the slow cooker and remove some of this paint. That's the sort of dinner I get given here. That's all you deserve this week. <laughs> How's it coming off? Getting there. They either fall off or they don't want to know. But, I, th yeah. I think you're just stood here looking at the rabbits in the garden. No, nope, can't see no rabbits today. No. Oh, there goes a glass in it. Don't do that because I've already had to replace one pane at the top, Have you? one of the arched ones, with some plastic. What's it called? Perspex. Perspex, that's it. It's happened forever, but it did the job over the winter. Well, at least we could cut the shape. <laughs> yeah. That was the second attempt, though, because you cut the first one wrong. <laughs> Remember? <Yeah. laughs> What's that rule you meant to do? Measure twice or something, then cut. <laughs> So we get those in the slow cooker. With my beef. <laughs> the beef's in the other one, don't worry. Uh. And see how well these come up. As you can see, where are they? Oh, it's on the handles. There's some ladies somewhere. Oh, a lady. You can't see them that well. So hopefully when they're cleaned up, you'll be able to see them. Yes, because I'm a lady. As you can hear, Adrian's still strimming away. We've been working on this area for a few weeks now, but it's looking so different up there in the top, where there's no barbed wire around the trees, there's no ivy up the walls. So it is still a work in progress. So Adrian's getting it all down to a level, then he can go over at the lawnmower. It's just constant trips to the tip to get rid of all the the stinging nettles and the brambles. But while he's been doing that, I'll take you around the back of the coach house where I've been working. As you can see, we've got the sand here that I dug out of his son's grave. There was so much of it, it's unbelievable. But at least this won't get muddy when it's driven on with the van. So I have just planted a jasmine so that when you come around the corner here, hopefully the aroma from the flowers will, it will be gorgeous. So that will grow on that corner, I hope. The tulips here are finished. And Adrian found this old plough. He thought it would be a nice garden feature. Not my kind of garden feature. So, i take you over here. Yes, I got the pool up eventually. Um, I accidentally overflowed it. The water pressure here is incredible and it only took a few hours to fill this up. But once I'm in it, splashing around on my lilo, it'll be fine. So over here, down to the secret garden, is the pathway. I have been meaning to put roses in the both sides for quite some time. As you can see, these walls need repairing or rebuilding, but Adrian hasn't got time to do that at the moment. So the, the blisks I had from our cottage garden before, well, they're white roses, so hopefully when they're blooming, I can lie on the lilo in my pool, if I get the time, and look over here at the beautiful roses. Now that's finished, I wanted to get over here and uncover this pathway that goes from the side of the coach house up onto the top field. You can see there's stepping stones. I need to uncover them, level them up and trim the lower branches of this chestnut tree so that that can be used as a pathway. Well, that was a long afternoon, but definitely worth doing. And um, we've got on top of this top field now and got the uh, grass down to a decent height. The ivy off the back wall, pretty much done. Killed all the roots off, uh, removed it where I can. Uh, as I said before, I'm not going to clear all of it above because the uh, uh, possibility of birds nesting 
um, in there. Um, concentrated on this the last part of this afternoon and cleared all of this away in this what I mean, this what was like an alcove but um so yes again could do with some rain because it's uh, very barren at the moment now this lump here in front of us uh, we couldn't clear away that it looks like it's just dumping ground i don't think there's anything there a lot of concrete blocks um a lot of granite in there as well actually and uh, so we'll uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day spend a couple of hours just doing that and seeing what's in there but I, i'm not expecting anything but literally a dumping ground but it's looking a lot better now um we really wanted to get on top of all this uh before the materials come in which is early next week so i can get back in the salon well actually in the cellar and also uh, this sunday i believe we have a concert being held on the grounds uh, a music festival should i say more than a concert uh, which we're looking forward to because it's a local thing so uh, it'd be good to be uh, doing something with all the locals here um i believe we're expecting possibly 300 people actually so uh, maybe i better polish up a few french words uh, and see how we get on Right, we've just had a stonemason around to have a look at the fireplace. It's obviously not a job that we're prepared to tackle on our own rebuilding the fireplace. Or I should I say, Adrian's not capable. <laughs> well, that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> so at the moment, most of the pieces have been removed anyway. And they've just advised him how to remove these sections without damaging them. So see, you've got the saw out. Yeah, so they all pinned, brass pins, held them back, so I've chipped and got that out. They are all plastered to the brickwork, so the problem I've got is I can't just pull them off, they'll snap. So I'm having to very carefully, literally, boringly, <laughs> cut each piece off slowly. Um, and, but the good thing is, as I do it, Here's what I did earlier. I can start removing the brickwork as I go down. Um, as Carol may have mentioned, we cannot risk damaging this marble. It's all intact. Every piece is perfect on my head, isn't it? Wow. It could be. Could be if on you're my down head, the cellar. Yeah, if I drop one. Um, so yeah, I'm having to literally slice every single one off. So tedious job. I prefer hammer, crowbar, bash it. Not today, I'm afraid. How's it looking? in pieces but i do know where there is one for sale that's almost identical if you do break it well, if you said that earlier i'd have paid the hammer to it be quicker yeah i don't want to pay for it oh okay i don't want to pay for it yeah a whole job time soon but this is the next job before then i can then remove the weight start doing the flooring underneath so i can't do anything until i've done this the other reason we've got to get someone in here um for insurance purposes so we've got a professional with certified they can rebuild this then we're covered on the insurance same scenario wasn't it, when we had the chimney swept so you go and enjoy the sunshine i'm cooking oh yeah. and i will stay in here saw it away right well i'm just going to show them what i bought to you go bought? what i bought to go in this fireplace but we're having a disagreement about it oh. um, so I went to uh, Brook Hunt, not too far away from us, and picked up this absolutely gorgeous fireplace, this log burner. Well, actually, it's not really big enough to put logs in, but the detail on it, I thought, was absolutely exquisite. Adrian's not so keen on putting it in the salon. I'm not sure if it'll even fit. But as soon as I saw this, I thought I had to buy it. It was only, well, it says there, 70 euros, but I got it for 60. One of my bargain buys. It is a, a godin or a godin. And you can see inside where the coal goes. No, it's not terribly big. It's not going to heat the room. It's a south-facing room. It's got two radiators in there. It's just a feature if we put it in there. It even, it even has wheels at the back. 
but Adrian's not so keen. So I shall keep badgering him and hopefully, like usual, he gives up. So that's what I'm wanting to put in there. So as I just said, I was cooking, but not cooking in my slow cooker's gone. Dinner's gone. Ha, huh, there it is. Not cooking dinner, cooking window furniture. It doesn't look particularly nice or smell that either. It's not coming off as I was shown in the video. Um, it's coming out like this and then you have to scrape the paint off and I'm using a scalpel to get in all the fine details. And this is the best I can get it looking. I then tried Nitro Morse to get in all the, in the detailed bits. Didn't want to know, didn't shift it. Nitro Morse isn't as strong as they used to make it, made, make it. And it just didn't touch this at all. They're obviously better, but not to my standards. These are the original ones, but I don't think there's much point in keeping this slow cooker on, to be honest, because if I can't get it all off, then what's the point? You're getting somewhere then. Don't stop work, just to talk. You can carry on. No, you told me you found another one, so now I get the hammer on it way quicker. Yeah, see, it's coming apart. I'm just getting the porcelain. These are porcelain, so I need to save these as well as marble. Um, I should have got the hooks out, the original hooks um, on there. Should you not have protected the marble base? I know it's got a crack in it, but why make it many, any worse? Because I think we're wrong. Because First you're a man all, and you don't think ahead. <clears throat> that is completely concreted underneath. If you want to lift it, you are more. No, I meant you could have covered it up. Oh my god, but how many cracks and all sorts has it got? Get on with that. <laughs> As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. So I need to say these. I've taken the top piece off. Uh, I think if I can get these off, then I can get the marble off, get the marble off, remove all the bricks, then I can protect the marble floor as well, couldn't I? So I don't get any dust on it. I'll just work. <laughs> I don't forget, I have built you, oh Doug, you were great down there. Uh-huh. Wow. <gasps> Excuse me? That made you look. Well, I thought you'd gone down the crack. I thought at last you've disappeared. Save me having to push you. Safe place. Hilarious. Well, I won't tell you. He's going upstairs so we don't need to accidentally um, stand the lawn or something. Uh, but yeah, that's much better. A lot of weight up there. Remove all the bricks. Uh, I won't do it tomorrow, being a Sunday, day off. Um, then we'll get the bricks underneath, remove the acros, support this beams better, and start building the wall. Happy? Oh, you're still not looking at me very happy. Well, I've been thinking. I named this room Summer's Breeze. Really? It's going to be more like Winter Christmas. Frost. Yeah. <laughs> summer Breeze. We've got summer now, actually. Exactly now. Oh, okay. Um, honestly, I reckon a couple of months. A couple of months. And then you've got to do your bit.
watch this space.